This was just a place that I found early on. It's been special. Ed Warchin has never felt the need to return to his roots. Where we are is Palisade Head. He's never left them. I was fortunate to get a camera at a very young age. Eight years old when he shot his first roll of film. It's been a lifelong passion. Ed has built both a reputation and career out of landscape photography. I think it was that idea, that real strong idea of being a storyteller. One photograph at a time. I'm gonna head down the way. Then, 10 years ago, Ed launched his most ambitious project yet. It's called the Fresh Coast Project. Crossing thousands of miles during a hundred different trips, Ed set out to tell the story of the Great Lakes as a single narrative in photographs. It's a narrative that's never been, uh, been done to this extent before. He just never imagined how much along the way his own landscape would be altered. I think we probably felt it would have been another 20 years before we would have seen this change so quickly. It can be tricky sometimes. Ed started shooting the Fresh Coast project on film. He'd planned to finish it that way too. See that hawk? But earlier this year, Kodak stopped producing the professional slide film he uses as digital photography consumes the market. That is just beautiful. Ed believes it's only a matter of time until Fuji stops making his film too. For me, it's a lot of pressure because the clock is ticking. Imagine a sculptor who's been told the world's marble supply is at its end. And you get a sense for what Ed is feeling. It's hard to explain. There's just something about the quality of film is just so, uh, so beautiful. You may not see the difference in the photos that will come from this shoot, but Ed will. And more than 400 miles away, clear across Lake Superior, there will be no argument from Mike Lucier. This is Ed Wargen's film. Ed's film processor for 20 years. I would say 2009 is when digital really started to affect my business. Operating out of an old airport terminal in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And this is sheet film. Mike and three employees once developed 300 rolls of film a day. His workers all laid off, as Mike now handles just 200 rolls of film a week. They're going into a wash water right now. Top it's fashion and wildlife photographers once ran their film through the chemical bath in Mike's $140,000 developer. Today, he couldn't give the machine away. I thought it would retire with it. <laughs> That's how optimistic I was, I guess, huh? Uh, or stupid. <laughs> By Mike's count, he's one of just three high-end film processors left in the country. This is Ed Wargen's film. You've been to living history museums where a blacksmith pounds out horseshoes? Looks great. Mike is now on the same path. You know, I, I don't think people realize what they're losing. It's a little bit like Christmas. Ed knows what he's losing. This moment. I love this one. The delayed gratification. That's pretty. Unknown to eight-year-old boys and girls born in the digital age. It's always a little bit of a surprise, and that's a really special part of it. But that's not the biggest reason Ed's racing to finish his Fresh Coast project on film. Ridiculously beautiful light. While digital images are easily and often manipulated, to Ed, film is truth. This is what it is, like a painting. It's done, it's finished. There's really nothing more I can do to it. It's going to be something special here in a, a little bit. Yet even as Ed chases one more Lake Superior sunrise. It's looking beautiful. He's accepted his fate. When the project is finished, he'll put away his film camera and complete his own conversion to digital. Each picture you take is, seems to come a, become a little bit more important than the last. In Ed Wargen's world, the pace of progress has become a force of nature. I'm just walking film out. That's all I'm doing. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Lake Superior.